About 340 million years ago, a brand new family of animals was evolving in the primeval swamps. They were to go one step further than the amphibians, who had emerged onto dry land before them. For they would eventually completely cut their ties with water. They were the ancestors of today's lizards. They evolved scaly, impermeable skins and moved up into the forests. They diversified into a multitude of different shapes and sizes. They developed signaling systems to communicate with one another. And they squabbled, as animals do, over mates and territory. For food, they hunted insects that were already well established on the land in great numbers. And here, without returning to water, they produced their families. They powered their bodies not only with food, but with the heat that they drew directly from the sun. As they diversified, so they spread into the harshest of the land's habitats, the baking, waterless deserts, which eventually they would come to dominate. The bigger ones are truly powerful and fearless, rearing up they're well able to defend themselves with their front legs if they're threatened. This is a very intelligent animal. It is observing me just as I'm observing it. It's a monitor lizard and it's king of this country, the Australian outback. It is frightened of pretty well nothing, obviously, including me. And it'll chase and hunt and eat pretty well anything. There are several thousand lizards around the world, and they are truly the dragons of the dry. Their eggs on land had to be encased in shells to prevent them from drying out. And what better place to lay them could a mother lizard find than a termite's nest? Worker termites labor unceasingly to keep the temperature and humidity virtually constant for their own benefit. But that also makes their mound a near perfect incubator for eggs of others. After 10 months, they're beginning to hatch. These are baby lace monitors. But they face a major problem. A termite nest's walls can be a foot thick and extremely hard. Too hard for the young monitors to break through. They are imprisoned with no food.
For a week after hatching, they're sustained by the last of the yolk that remains in their stomachs. But when that comes to an end, they could starve. An adult lace monitor is nearby. It may or may not be the baby's mother. If not, then it could be a threat, for monitors are hunters and will eat most small animals, including baby lizards. She is nearing the termite nest within which the young are trapped. She could be looking for a place to lay her eggs. Alternatively, she might be searching for food, such as little lizards. Babies are released unharmed. Perhaps she is indeed the baby's mother, and not only remembered exactly where she laid her eggs a year ago, but knew that her babies would need her help to escape from the incubator. The young, however, are free. But the outside world is a dangerous place. They head for safety, up into the trees. In the branches, there are other kinds of lizards. Shacky dragons. Each has its own territory and warns others to keep out. A wave of the front leg and a bob of the head is a jacky dragon's way of claiming territory. Here, the action is slowed down. In reality, the leg flick is so swift, it's hard for us to see. But it's very plain to another Jackie Dragon. But sometimes signals are not enough. Physical violence is needed. He's won. The vanquished acknowledges his defeat with a different signal. A slow leg wave with no head bob. The winner returns to his territory in the branches and announces his victory, which his neighbor acknowledges. So now, both can live alongside one another in peace. Once Jackie Dragon stops signaling, it's quite hard to spot them up in the branches. American animals are so well camouflaged, they're virtually invisible. There's one on this tree right in front of me. But he, too, needs to draw attention to himself to warn off rivals and then to disappear from predators. This mirror may persuade him to reveal his solution to the problem. Now then, what do you think of that? Who's that? Yes, it's a rival. A tail wag. Yes. <laughs> You're not going to get rid of me that way. Show us your signals. Well, press up certainly is a keep away challenge. 
And there, that's it. <laughs> the full works. Ah, oh. <laughs> lovely. Once more. Thank you. And again. <laughs> Come on. He obviously thinks that his position is being contested and he's displaying to show that he's as good as anybody else. So I guess I'll leave him in peace.